Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to prove the relation between the porosity and the wide ratio. That the porosity is equal to the wide ratio divided by 1 plus wide ratio. So how to prove this relation? Let's consider the soil phase diagram. This is the any soil phase diagram which consists of three main important terms, solids, water and air. So this will be the total volume of the soil phase which will be represented by V and the composition of air and whites will be represented by VV which is the volume of the whites because they are represented as the whites of the soil. So the volume of the air represented by VA, the volume of the water represented by VW and the volume of the solid is represented by VS. The total volume is V and the volume of the whites is VV which is the composition of the volume of the air and volume of the water. So now how to prove this relation. So to define the porosity, the porosity can be defined as porosity is equal to the, the whites volume dividing by the total volume of the soil. multiplying it with the 100%. So this is the definition of the porosity. Now what is the wide ratio definition? So wide ratio can be defined as it is the ratio of the here the wide volume similarly is the porosity wide volume dividing by the volume of the solids volume of solid. So this is the definition of the wide ratio. So now if we represent by the letters, so porosity will be N, it will be N is equal to the wide volume is the VV dividing it by the total volume which is the V here. So this is the definition of the porosity multiplying it with the 100%. So the wide ratio can be defined as it is the E which is equal to the wide volume VV dividing it by the volume of the solid which is the Vs. So this is the main definitions of these two technical terms wide porosity and the wide ratio. Now we know that the porosity is equal to the VV dividing by the total volume. So now volume the total volume we know the total volume is equal to the volume of the wide plus the volume of the solid plus the volume of the solid where VV is equal to the combination of the volume of the air and water. So this is the combination of the, the composition of the air volume and the water volume. So VV is the volume of the whites plus VS is the volume of the solid. This is the total volume of the soil sample. So now we can put this V here, here this in this position. So N porosity will be equal to the VV volume of the whites dividing by the V which is the VV plus VS volume of the whites plus volume of the solids. Now after this we want to take the reciprocal of the N. So by taking the reciprocal it will become 1 over porosity equal to the VV plus VS dividing by VV. So we just change the position of these terms. For example, let's consider n is dividing by 1. So if we take the reciprocal, so it will be n by 1 will become 1 by n and vv will become, will come to the denominator and vv plus vs will come to the numerator position. Now after this equation, we can solve it like this. 1 over n is again here equal to the, if we separate this, so it will become VV divided by the VV plus VS dividing by VV. So we just separate this equation into two parts. So it will become like this VV divided by VV plus VS divided by VV. Now VV, it will be cancelled and we got here 1. So 1 over porosity is equal to the 1 plus VS divided by VV. Now what is this VS divided by VV? So, if we look to the definition of the wide ratio, it is VV divided by VS. 
E is equal to the VV, volume of the wires dividing by the volume of the solid. Now, if you take the reciprocal of this, so it will be 1 over E is equal to the VS into VV. If you take the reciprocal, if you change the position of these terms, so it will be 1 over E is equal to VS divided by VV. So, VS divided by VV is basically 1 over E. So, we can put this here, that VS divided by VV is equal to the 1 over E, to become 1 over E. So now I can write it here like in this way 1 over n is equal to the if you take the LCM it is divided by 1 so E it will be E plus 1. So this is the definition of the porosity in the reciprocal way. Now if we take again the reciprocal so it will become 1 over n will become n and if you take the reciprocal so E will become E will come to the numerator so E dividing by E plus 1 or n is equal to the e dividing by 1 plus e, which is the relation between the porosity and the wide ratio. Hope you guys understand how to define or how to prove the relation between the porosity and wide ratio just by defining the surface diagram. And then from this, we just put the values and a little bit uh, changing the equation so we can define or we can prove the relation between the porosity and wide ratio. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.